Today we have a privileged event that's happening in Dubai, Milestone MIPS, and then we're going to be meeting the global CEO, uh, Thomas, and then he's going to first introduce himself and then we'll take it from there. Thomas, if you don't mind introducing yourself. No, absolutely, and, and, and thanks for having me. I'm Thomas Jensen, I'm the CEO of Milestone Systems. Milestone Systems is a company that delivers video management software. What we're about is to help our customers see what they can't really see with their eyes at the moment where it happens, either by utilizing the insights from video data recorded in the past or from live data, or in the future from predicting what will happen you, uh, based on video data. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned that Milestone aims to double or actually more its annual turnover within the next five years. So uh, do you mind giving more uh, impact or uh, understanding how it's going to do that? And also, it's strengthening the position as a responsible technology organization. What is the plan for that? Yes, absolutely. And it is correct. We plan to more than double our revenue in the next five years. One of the things is to be the global leader in data-driven video technology, both within the security industry and beyond. Data is one of the important parts because the world is becoming more data-driven and our ambition is to deliver tangible insights for our customers utilizing the data from video, but also to deliver business outcomes for our customers outside the security business. And responsibility is a very important part of that because in a world where data and privacy and human rights is getting ever more important, both for our citizens and for our customers, at Milestone, we believe to do things the right way by protecting our citizens' rights and ensuring that our technology is not only developed in a responsible manner, but also sold responsibly and, as importantly, used responsible by our customers. Great. I think you have a great responsibility also. Could you tell us more about what do you mean about the people-first approach and why it's important for the tech industry to implement this? Uh, we think it's important for all industries, mm -hmm. but for us it's part of our DNA. People-first is really how we have uh, developed and, and built our company. The respect for people and for individuals, but also the respect for our colleagues, for our customers, and for the societies we are part of. So we put people-first in everything we do. Great. What is the relevance of the MIPS event to your plan for the company? Well, first of all, we are a partner-driven company and the MIPS event is our global partner summit. Okay. So for us, uh, without gathering our partners to talk about the future, to talk about how we can make video more apparent for our customers, that is really the best possible way that we can drive growth together. That is by spending time together and by driving growth. I think this is where the human center comes first. You also mentioned that Milestone is preparing to revolutionize the technology industry by using data-driven video technology, which we already know you are in it. Uh, what do you mean by this, and how would your technology really revolutionize the sector? A very good question. You know, video consumes a lot of data. It gives us a lot of visible elements that we can see when we watch the video. But by applying analytics, by utilizing artificial intelligence, machine learning, it's actually possible to analyze the patterns from the video data and get tangible insights from that. That way we will be able to support our customers to actually optimize the way they run the business, the way they manage traffic patterns during rush hour, or the way we protect our citizens. Great, I think data is the future oil. Well, actually, it is currently the current oil, and then this is where we are capitalizing on it. It is, and it has the potential to be the future oil if used responsibly. Great. We are in Dubai, so Dubai is leading on the blockchain and the world of metaverse, and then they, they just released their strategy. What do you think about the strategy, and how can metaverse or uh, milestone add value in this uh, response on infrastructure-wise, on data-wise, on whatever? Well, I think everything that goes on in, uh, in, in modern technology, whether it is blockchain, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and so forth, if used the right way, we can really help making societies a better place to live. We can optimize traffic, we can make buildings a better place to live, optimizing consumptions of energy, and energy is something that's very hot at the moment, and the ability that we can really drive the insights from modern technology, whether it's digital transformation and so forth, 
to make the world a better place to live or for our customers to make more money. So metaverse, smart cities, enablement. So you have everything that is kind of the infrastructure for building towards the future. And video has the opportunity to exactly. be core and central to that. Exactly. So any last words for our audience so that they can uh, advice or something they can follow on up on? Well, really, uh, most importantly, just to see video as the future of your business and your life and that we're here to support that journey. Thank you for that. Thank you for uh, joining in today and thank you for being on DX Talks. I think this is a great part of what we are doing, trying to also do our part in the society and looking to what you are doing in society and how you are helping the society. I think this brings another value and humanistic way. Thank you. Thank you for My that. pleasure. It was great uh, interviewing you and I definitely will uh, look future for the MIPS and for beyond MIPS, I think uh, the future is very bright. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.